morning you guys happy sunday so this is a wash day routine i am currently what six months post five months five in a couple of days five months in a couple of weeks i think next week no the 18th i'll be relaxing my hair january 18th yeah which is a couple of days early because i think last time i relaxed my hair was july 21st if i'm not mistaken somewhere around up in there so it'll be a couple of days early you know what I'm saying? So I this is the current state of my hair. It's a hot mess. I have not washed it in two weeks. It's a greasy mess because I've just been putting like shea butter in it and everything. So I am going to wash my hair today. But you guys know my favorite thing is to deep condition first. Don't ever wash your hair without deep conditioning first. You guys know I use this one and then I need... A Walmart plastic bag, or if you have just a regular old bag, or a bottle general bag, do what you do, son. Oh, we need my Scully. You guys know, I, I, I need to buy me a bonnet that you put in the microwave that warms up your deep conditioner. I would really love to have one of those. I need to look at getting me one. But we just gonna put on our trusty skull cap mm -hmm. to keep that heat up in our head, right? So. Cue the music, cue me putting in my deep condition. So you saw me deep conditioning. I am going to keep this in my hair for about an hour. I think it's like 11 something. So I'm going to keep it until like maybe 12, 15, 12, 30 ish or so. I do have a lot to do. They have to be somewhere at three o'clock. So I have to get dressed, do my makeup and stuff. Cause it's like, I want to get some pictures. Um, so, and then I have to put up my groceries, clean out my refrigerator. So I always deep condition while I'm doing housework or doing something like cleaning up or whatever. Cause as you get your body temperatures goes up from like working and doing stuff, your head gets hotter and it kind of do better versus you just sitting down chilling around for a while. Um, so that's what I like to do whenever I'm deep conditioned. I like to be uh, doing stuff to help promote, you know, the stuff. Anywho, I will be back when I'm ready to wash out my hair. All right, you guys. So I am back and I am in the shower and I still have my spill cap. I got this little thing, you know, so it can be. You know, not x ray big, but I am in the shower, and so, like I told you guys, I am five months post, and I will be relaxing in my hair soon. So, because I will be relaxing my hair soon, I want to go ahead and make it as strong as possible before I put the relaxer in it. So, when I do that, I like to go ahead and use my Afrogy shampoo for damaged hair. Like I said, my hair is not damaged, but when you put a relaxer in you're stripping it down and you are damaging it per se but it's not damaged in the sense that I'm not taking care of but it's damaged in the sense that I do relax my hair we're not gonna act like I don't damage my hair every time I relax my hair but I like to do everything to help kind of reverse or lessen the effects of the relaxer you guys know I don't relax bone straight I am text lax so that really helps a lot I only relax every two I mean twice a year or every six months so that also helps a lot and so with this Afrogee Shampoo for Damaged Hair, it cleanses, gently cleanses, restores shine, and helps strengthen the hair. And what I like about it, it normalizes my pH balance, which you know you get a relaxer, it will throw everything off. So I love to try to get that back to this normal state, to, you know, make my hair be like, girl, what you doing? You know, I'm sorry sis, but I gotta do it. But, you know, so that is what I will be using to shampoo my hair. And then I will be following up with the Serious FG Serious Care Protection Balancing Moisturizer. It infuses moisture, improves manageability. At five months, I need manageability, okay? I know I said that real wrong. Manageability, yes, that's it. I need that because you know your hair is super coarse with the new growth and the two textures and it can be really hard to manage. Um, I know I make it look easy, but I do go through them parts where 
it can be difficult sometimes, you know what I'm saying? And so I've tried to make it easy as possible and it does, it softens and it shines. I love anything that makes my hair shine and look healthy and just beautiful, okay? So that is the two combination of shampoo and conditioner that I am using today. So let's get started. my hair twice and this is what it looks like you guys can see that's a lot of texture in it baby them five months ain't no joke I did not rinse I didn't rinse all the shampoo I already done wait a minute squeeze out as much water as I can sorry I water my eye as much water as I can before I put the conditioner in there so that the conditioner can be soaked up into the strands of my hair and not be full of water so you know you gotta shake it and this is my balancing moisture dryer by Afro G like I said y'all know I am very heavy-handed with conditioners I need to take an inventory of all of my products. It's going to be time for me to re-up. Tell you the truth, I don't know when the last time I bought a hair product. It's been a minute. That's how many hair products I have. It's ridiculous. But, I have used them, so I'm not feeling no type of way. So, I'll make sure I get the top of my hair. Definitely make sure that I get my ends. Definitely want them to be good and moisturized. So they don't get split and brittle and mess up me retaining the length, you know. That's the most important thing when your hair is growing is to retain the length that you are growing, sis. Well, you're doing it all for nothing. Alright. And I definitely love to get my edges have to get them edges this and the nape of my hair i get the nape of my hair about five months post because that is where the bulk of my new growth is at the nape of my hair and baby it ain't no fun so then i just wrap it up put this little hair tie thing on it and What I like to do is take the same little baggie I had before. Doesn't matter. Conditioner is conditioner. If I get some of that deep conditioner in it, it's not going to hurt your hair. Uh, so that same baggie on it. And I will leave this in. Not too long because we did a deep conditioner. So I'll leave it in as long as enough if it takes me to wash my body. So I'm about to do that. And I'll be right back. All right, you guys, it's been about 15 or 20 minutes. I'm all clean in this area or whatever. Okay, so 15, 20 minutes, take the cap off. Now, this is the key to me washing out my conditioner besides my deep conditioner. I, my deep conditioner, I do use leak warm water to wash that out because you want to get it completely out of your scalp. Um, shampoo with lukewarm water, but I rinse out my last conditioner with cool water. As cool as you can stand it on your body, because remember, you are in the shower and not like bending your head over or have it back like at the beauty salon, okay? Because we're doing this at the house. Um, so as cool as you can, you know, 
it's cold outside, so it's not too cool. Like in the summertime, cooler feels good for me, but it cold outside today, okay? The high 57, okay? I, I can't do too much cool. Um, but yes, it's cool as you can stand it to rinse it out just to um, get it out, but close it into the cuticles to lock in that moisture you want your cuticles to close and lock in all the goodness that you just put into it. So let's get to rinsing out this conditioner. temporary clothes for today and I am about to blow dry my hair you guys have all seen my blow dry routine so I am going to just do it and then I'll be right back I don't want to focus on I don't know it's the Apogee you can see it in my series pro vitamin leave-in conditioner and it's the Apogee Carrington green, green tea restructurizer okay and then I'll put a little bit of my cheese of confusion on there and I use the paddle brush method with my John Frieda blow dry that I got from Target years ago. So that's what we're about to do and next time you see me I should be all ready. Okay, this is my hair all blow dried. So yep so next I am going to curl and wand it and I have a whole video on my channel of how I curl and wand my hair. So when I get through and get dressed and everything, I will be back to show you the end results of my wash. Alright guys, so this is the finished look of my wash day. I'm about to get ready to go out and meet my friend, but this is what the curling wands look like. They look different because I curl and wand my hair when it was blow dried, not when it's flat ironed. In my video where I curl and wand it, it was flat ironed already, but it's still the same concept. You can do it on blow dry or flat iron hair. But this is my wash day at five months post. See how shiny my hair is. It looks amazing, but I'm running late, so I got to go. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, help me get to 10,000 subscribers. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.